June is National Migraine Awareness Month, and UC San Diego is launching a new study to find out if marijuana can help treat those horrible headaches. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens shows us their plan to put some science behind the smoke. It's like the volume control on pain, and we'd like to turn it down to zero, and when you're having a migraine, it may go to 10. Dr. Jack Shim, the co-director of the Headache Center of Southern California, says his migraine patients deal with an immense level of pain. We now know that it's tied into the pain centers of the trigeminal nerve, the nerve of facial feeling and is basically a brain problem. The CDC says 15% of U.S. adults suffer from migraines. And while there are a number of FDA-approved treatments, Dr. Shim says many patients ask him about medical marijuana. He's not always sure how to answer. The challenge, of course, has been Really, the research has been, until very recently, lacking. A new study at UC San Diego hopes to change that. This has never been studied. Dr. Nathaniel Schuster is leading the first ever placebo-controlled, federally approved study of marijuana on migraines. He's hoping to get specific data on how marijuana helps with the headaches and the other symptoms the light sensitivity, the sound sensitivity, the nausea, the vomiting. Schuster's research will give patients four different doses to use for four separate migraines. One of them with THC, one of them with a THC CBD mixture, one of them with CBD, and one of them with placebo. Um, and patients don't know which one's which. Patients will report their results through an app. It took years to get approval from the federal government. They're also supplying the drugs. Dr. Schuster hopes the study will lay the groundwork for more research into things like dosage and concentration levels. Now's the opportunity for San Diegans to be part of the first study in the world of its kind uh, to give doctors and patients evidence as to what is the effect that cannabis has on migraine in human beings. If you want to take part in the study, you can't already be a regular marijuana or opioid user, and you have to get migraines at least once a month. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.